Okay, well, good afternoon. I hope it's good. You deserve it to be good. Uh, I know this video is going to be good because it's a great topic. The topic is to solve a system of equations by the method we call substitution. So let's get it. And keep in mind, this is just math, people. That's all it is. All right, that's all it is. All right, we ain't, we ain't, uh, we ain't putting anyone in space today. We just solve them for two unknowns. That's it. Let's get it. Uh, there's two equations. I'm gonna label them one and two. My goal is gonna be to to solve one of these equations in terms of y. Okay, solve for y, and then I'm gonna substitute it in. So I'm gonna start with equation number one. Uh, no particular reason why I started with number one. So let's go. Let's get this thing. Let's rewrite it. Let's rewrite it here. We got 3x plus 3y is equal to negative 18. So if I'm going to solve for y, I'm going to isolate that variable. I want it to be by itself. I want that to be the loneliest damn variable you have ever met. So I got to get rid of its homie, the x. Well, that's easy. That's easy. I just subtract it. And sometimes I throw that word, it's easy, out. And it's only easy if you know how to do it, right? So I get that. If you don't think that's easy, then it's fine. There's nothing wrong with you. Uh, it's, yeah, it's easy if you know how to do it. If you don't want to do it, it ain't easy. <laughs> so don't, uh, if I slip and I say that, because I really don't like to say that, um, you know, don't take it personally. All right, so now we've got to isolate y. I, got, I really got three y's, because three times y is just y plus y plus y. So uh, if I divide by three, I got to divide everything by three. I'm going to be in really good shape. So y is equal to negative three divided by uh, three is just one. So I'm going to go negative one x minus 18 over three. Well, wait, 18 over three, that's six. Tricky problem. Boom! All right, so now I got this equation. I'll call it uh, three. I'll call this equation number three. And what I'm going to do now, follow me, follow me, is right here. We go substitute three into the other equation that we didn't solve for. So three into two. All right, so let's do that thing. Let's get it right here. So 4x, we're going to go 4x minus, but instead of y, I'm going to substitute what I know, which is that y equals negative x minus 6. Uh, I apologize for that musical interlude. Again, while this echo lasts, i got to say, because it makes me sound so much better. When I'm old, I can look back at these videos and be like, damn, I sounded good. You might be like, no, you don't really sound like a good Mr. Miller. It's all right. All right. Switching colors to help your eyes make a connection. So now I'm stoked because I got one equation. I got one variable. Boom, that's money. That's my home run territory. Let's go. I got 4x. This is really a negative 1. We don't write that. But I'm going to distribute the negative 1, and that's going to give me negative times a negative is positive. Negative times a negative is positive. Boom, we're having some very, very pretty numbers here today. I'm going to combine my left terms. That gives me 5x. I'm going to subtract 6 because I'm trying to isolate the variable. So I'm getting rid of all that stuff that is uh, on the same side of the equal sign with that variable. So I got negative 20. I'm almost there. Five times some weird unknown equals negative right now. You can just probably look at that and say, Mr. Miller, it must be negative four. Oh, I do agree. But I'm going to divide by five. Because I'm in the mood to show all my steps. I'm not always in that mood, by the way. All right. So x equals negative four. I'm almost done because I have x. I just now need to solve for y. I get to pick either one of these two equations. So class, which one should I pick? Should I substitute x equals 4 into equation 1 or equation 2? Which one?
You see, even if the room wasn't empty, sometimes I expect no answer. And it's all, it's all good. It's all good. That's why I'm getting paid. Well, I mean, not, not for this video, but if I was, but for my actual job, I do. All right, so let's roll. Um, I'm going to substitute into number two. So I'm going to take x equals negative four, and I'm going to plug it in uh, right there. So I'm going to go four. Instead of writing x, I'm going to write negative four minus y is equal to negative 14. We almost done. We can see it. I can sense it. So four times uh, negative four is negative 16 minus y is equal to negative 14. I got to add 16 to both sides. I'm going to do it right here. Okay, I'm just going to put a little arrow. So this gives me negative y is equal to 2 because I added 16 and negative 14 plus 16 is 2. Uh, therefore, I love the three little dots symbolizing therefore, y must equal negative 2. Ta-da! So the solution to the equation is y equals negative 2 and x equals negative 4. You can check that. You can check it. You can chickety check it if you will by plugging those values back in and seeing that the answer is right. I'll do that. I'll do it for this one right here. So I'm going to go 3 times instead of x, I'm writing negative 4 plus 3. Instead of y, I'm writing negative 2 is equal to negative 18. Negative, that's negative 18 is equal to negative 18. Holla! And I jumped this step right here, but what I did is I divided by negative 1. That's how you get rid of the negative sign. Okay, a negative variable like that. So the positive became negative. Beautiful! Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Uh, I hope when you're watching this video, you're experiencing a day as beautiful as this one. I really want to turn that camera around. I really do. Alright, last one. Let's go. Um, let's do negative x plus... 3y is equal to negative 9. And let's do ax minus 4y is equal to 32. Question is solve for x and y. Let's use substitution. You're going to hit that damn pause button. And I'll just do a little, uh, I don't know, I'll just kind of get my groove on while you practice this problem. Alright, now let's go, let's roll. Alright, so we got a one and we got two. Why do we ever stop dancing? Right? We, should, we should have a dance break in the middle of every single class, I think. I don't do that, but I wish I did. Alright, so I'm going to pick uh, number two this time and I'm just going to solve for y. Because it's kind of right under here, so I'm not going to rewrite it. I'm just going to say, oh, 8x, see you later. See, this is that step that last time I said it was easy and then I corrected myself. It's only easy when you, if you know how to do it. So is it easy? <laughs> One day is hard, the next day is easy. Simple as that. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by negative 4. Everything's getting divided by negative 4. No worries, no stress. We get y is equal to 2x minus 8. So now I have equation in terms of uh, uh, equation for y in terms of x. I'm going to call that 3. And I'm going to substitute 3 back into 1. Okay? So now, oh, you can't. Garbage. That was a swish, by the way. Um, now I'm going to sub 3. In two, one. Let's get it. Come on, bring it. Let's bring it. So wherever there's a y, I'm gonna replace it with two x minus a. So let's go over here. I got my negative x plus three is equal to negative nine. I always I like parentheses when I'm substituting. Call me old fashioned if you will, but I like parentheses when I substitute. Now my two x minus eight is gonna go where this y is, which is right there. I'm going 2x minus 8. I'm going to distribute this 3 and make it happen. So we have negative x plus 6x minus 
24 is equal to negative 9. I'm even going to turn the music down because it decided to go to commercial. No worries, no worries. I right, am going to focus now. I'm going to slow it down, people. Negative x plus uh, 6x is 5x. I got to add 24 because I want to isolate the variable. And right now I'm subtracting 24. I might just rewrite that here. So I'm going to add 24. Plus, oh man, these markers, are, they're just barely hanging on. They're like, I hope this is the last video, and it is. All right, so we got 5x is equal to 15. Divide both sides by 5, therefore x must equal 3. We can get so excited when we're doing substitution. We like get this answer, x equals 3, and we're like, yes, and we move on. But we're not done. We're not done. And you're like, what? And I'm like, yo. And you're like, because we got to get y too. You got to solve for x and y. So come on. Come on. We almost done. We almost done. All right. So I'm going to go back to equation number one. And I'm going to substitute 3 in there for x. So negative 3 plus 3y is equal to negative 9. So negative 3, uh, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. I'm going to get 3y is equal to negative 6. All right, because this is really, those parentheses aren't doing much at that point. So I'm adding 3 to both sides. Divide both sides by 3. y is equal to negative 2. This is the solution to both these equations. Both these equations are true when x equals 3 and y equals negative 2. Alright, so now the only thing left is a, a couple more videos on some other techniques for solving systems, but uh, this is a tried and true method that will always work, uh, just like the, the sun will always rise, and the stars will always come out, and uh, hopefully you uh, remain having a beautiful day. Whoops.